wide-angle photographic lenses come in two flavors, fisheye lenses and rectilinear lenses, which are just normal wide-angle lenses. What is the difference between the two? A lens projects an image of the focal plane onto the sensor of the camera. In the case of a normal rectilinear lens, the focal plane has the same shape as the sensor, it's a flat rectangle. But in the case of a fisheye lens, the focal plane really isn't a plane at all, it is a sphere located around the camera. And the lens projects an image of that sphere onto the flat sensor. A rectilinear lens does not distort the image, because if you have a flat subject in the front of the lens, the lens will create an image of the subject looking just like the original, without changing the shape. Objects in the focal plane will have the same proportions on the picture. The lens sees the object on the focal plane at different angles. The red angle here is clearly smaller than the green angle. Inside the camera, the lens projects the image of the objects at the same angle, so while the red and green angle are still different on the right, the red angle on the right is the same as the red angle on the left and the green angle on the right is the same as the green angle on the left. This results in a flat subject and its image being identical, just scaled down. A fisheye lens reproduces a spherical image. That is, if you put the objects in a circle around the camera, the fisheye lens will create their image on the flat sensor, so that two objects of the same size will also have the same size on the image. But it's not the same as with a rectilinear lens, because now the objects are on a circle around the camera instead of being on a straight line. The fisheye lens sees all the objects at the same angle. The green angle and the red angle are the same here. Inside the camera, the lens will project the objects at different angles. The two green angles are the same, but the red angle on the right is smaller than the red angle on the left. And this is exactly what a fisheye lens does. It compresses the objects that are closer to the edges, and the closer the objects are to the edges, the more they will be compressed. I am using two wide-angle lenses. My fisheye lens is the Samyang 7.5mm for Micro Four Thirds. This lens is also available with the Rokinon brand. My rectilinear wide-angle lens is the Panasonic 7-14mm wide zoom lens. At its widest, this lens has a focal length similar to the Samyang fisheye. When shooting flat rectangular subjects, the rectilinear wide-angle lens does not distort the subject. The rectangle looks just like a rectangle. The fisheye lens, by compressing the edges, changes the shape of the rectangle. When taking the picture with the rectilinear lens, I set the focal length to 7.5, the same as my fisheye lens. As a result, the subject at the center has a similar size on both pictures. But the fisheye has a wide angle of view, 180 degree from corner to corner. Because it compresses the picture, a fisheye will have a wider angle of view at the same focal length. Rectilinear lenses can be quite wide, but it's impossible for them to reach a 180 degree angle of view. Fisheye lenses, on the other hand, can not only reach 180 degrees, they can even go beyond. Most fisheye lenses have a 180 degrees angle of view but there are fisheye lenses with an even bigger angle of view, effectively looking slightly behind the camera. I said that rectilinear lenses do not distort the picture, but this is not the whole truth. Rectilinear lenses do indeed create some kind of distortion. If you have a flat object and you project it onto a parallel flat surface at an angle, you will get an image of the object without distortions. That's what happened when shooting a flat subject located in a focal plane, parallel to the sensor of the camera. If you project a straight line onto a flat plane, you will get a straight line, no distortions either, even if a line is not parallel to the plane. If your subject is flat but not parallel to the plane, you will get some perspective effect. And if you have a 3D object, like a ball, you will get a stretched image of the object that will be clearly distorted. 
That's what happens near the edges of a picture taken with a rectilinear wide-angle lens. You can see here that round objects near the edges are stretched to an elliptical shape. Let's look at distortion produced by a fisheye lens. Obviously all straight lines that don't pass through the center of the picture will be rounded by the compression. But what happened to the shape of objects near the edges of the picture? Consider the 180 degree circle projected by the fisheye lens. The angle of view from edge to edge is 180 degrees. That's true in all directions. My fisheye lens covers the entire frame. It has an angle of view of 180 degrees from corner to corner. There are also fisheye lenses that let you see the entire 180 degree circle, where what's outside the circle is black. With such a lens, you have an angle of view of 180 degrees in all directions. Consider this horizontal blue line. It represents 180 degree horizontal arc around the camera. Consider now another 180 degree arc around the camera, the one in red. It's a vertical arc passing above the camera. Both the blue and the red arcs have the same size. They are both seen from a 180 degree angle by the camera. How would the red arc be projected by a fisheye lens? It would be along the 180 degree circle. And while the blue arc and the red arc are both seen from a 180 degree angle by the camera, on the picture they are different. The blue arc is straight, the red arc is curved, the red arc is also longer. If the blue arc has a length of L, the red arc will have a length of pi divided by 2 times L. It's about 1.57 times L. So, the red arc is 1.57 times longer than the blue arc. This difference of length applies to any objects near the 180 degree circle. So, if you have an object of size 1 by 1 in the center of the picture, it will not be distorted. But the same object on the side of the camera will be distorted. It will still have the same size in the direction of the center, but it will be stretched along the circle by a factor of 1.57, giving it the shape of a banana. This kind of distortion will appear near the edges of pictures taken with a fisheye lens. Here you can see the banana distortion. Fisheye lenses and rectilinear wide-angle lenses are different, but which is best? When taking pictures of houses, exterior or interior, in most cases the rectilinear lens is the way to go. You want straight lines to be straight, you want a house to look like a house and not like a bouncy castle. The rectilinear wide-angle lens also makes the interiors look bigger. This picture was taken with a standard 50mm equivalent lens. And this one with a rectilinear wide-angle lens, see the difference? Round interiors are better served by a fisheye lens, like this round dome. It looks nice through the fisheye lens with nicely proportioned windows. With a rectilinear lens, it looks quite distorted and the windows look misplaced. Also, the fisheye lens, thanks to its bigger angle of view, allows you to make some compositions that would not be possible otherwise. Like showing more of this street, or more of that building. When taking pictures of a group of people, there is really no winner. You have to choose between elliptical faces and banana-shaped faces. What I really wish is something in between, to minimize the distortion of individual faces. When your composition focuses on a group of smaller objects, a fisheye does generally a good job. If you are looking to buy your first one-angle lens, I would suggest you to go for a rectilinear. In my experience, it is a more versatile lens. On the other hand, a fisheye is more fun to play with. It gives a nice surreal look to the subject.